Endocrine surgery is a surgical subspecialty that takes care of endocrine glands, most notably the thyroid gland, the parathyroid gland, the adrenal gland, and the endocrine pancreas. A majority of these cases are in the neck, uh, in the thyroid and parathyroid gland. Uh, most of the surgeries are outpatient, and, uh, and uh, patients have excellent results here at Rhode Island Hospital. There's a lot of investigation that goes into it uh, in terms of working up hormonal problems and following patients over time. So this was very appealing to me. And I also just love the technical aspects of endocrine surgery operating on the thyroid and parathyroid. It's very meticulous. It involves a lot of fine dissection. So the combination of all those things drew me to it. Endocrine surgery is an exciting new specialty, relatively speaking, uh, to general surgery. Uh, the route most people take is they do five years of general surgery training and then an extra year of formal endocrine surgery training focused strictly on the surgery of endocrine diseases. Um, there's about 20 to 22 spots nationally, so it's a very small group of individuals with this individualized and special training. Uh, really, national studies have shown that those who do high volume endocrine surgery, and that's their specialty and primary practice, uh, certainly are equipped potentially to have better outcomes and, and, and excellent results. And uh, doing a lot of these cases and understanding the nuances of taking care of endocrine surgery diseases is really important uh, to optimally managing these patients. The usual patient that comes to us is a patient referred because of a thyroid nodule, which is frequently discovered by the patient, sometimes by imaging studies, uh, sometimes by their primary care physician. built in a tradition of excellence in ultrasound here. And surgeon-performed ultrasound is something that I've um, studied, investigated, I've written about the topic, um, and it's a tremendous tool to the surgeon for us to see you in the office and right there perform an ultrasound. It is so helpful compared to reading a report that says there's this size nodule and it looks like this in your thyroid. When we put that probe on your neck, we see exactly what's going on. And sometimes patients come to me expecting that they're going to have a biopsy and I'm able to look at the thyroid on ultrasound and say, you know what, you don't need a biopsy. This is not what it was billed as and you have a benign condition based on the ultrasound appearance and you don't need a biopsy and that always is a big relief to people. The outcomes of endocrine surgery are fantastic compared to other diseases and other types of cancer. Uh, and not only that, but we really can provide them with a uh, encompassing care, uh, both surgically as well as any medical therapy they may need here at Rhode Island Hospital. We have an excellent group of uh, endocrinologists in the community as well as here at the hospital who can provide medical care in correlation and working together uh, with uh, the surgeons here to provide truly a team multidisciplinary approach to their cancer if, 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 if they need it. Uh, the other thing we have is we have multidisciplinary conferences uh, that really get a lot of perspectives and inputs uh, to their care. We feel that each of us uh, take excellent care of the patients by not only following up with the patients, following up with their doctors, making sure that they're treated on time and are available when there are problems. And if one of us is not available, the other one will. So we pride ourselves in being able to take excellent care of the patient uh, by people who are experienced in doing this all the time. One of the very nice aspects of the field that I've chosen is that these diseases are, for the most part, very treatable, curable, um, and it's always nice to put someone at ease and tell them that everything's going to be all right and we're going to fix the problem and your life is going to be normal.